Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm Sir JG. And I hope you're uh, ready to accept your fate, creature. And if not, silence. If so, silence. <laughs> Either way, keep it down. Mm -hmm. We have to just go through uh, Guts mode one more time here. Oh, we didn't need to skip that. I was hoping to get a better look at what the hell was happening there. I just have to watch the video and pause and comment and subscribe and like. What the... See, it seems like it's... Bu like, there's like bubbling going on in this hell as opposed to fire hell. Yeah. I mean, it's so hot in hell that even the flesh is bubbling. I guess that would make sense. Oh, there was also a special load. Um... Oh, were you all powered up last time, or is this like... No, we're all powered up because we actually had the perfect uh, yeah. fight. So we're going to use the Sore Earth Splitter Slash, because he only has used one of his... He hasn't used any of his powers yet, I don't think. Soaring, not sore. It's like S-O-R-E Earth. Oh, I'm sore that the Earth oh. Splitter slashed me. Huh? You okay? The catch. You okay? Oh, that did a ton of battle. Uh, that was really so good, actually. You should figure out what element that is and use it more often. I don't like that. Oh, I do like that. <laughs> All right. She already used one of hers, so we should uh, get our shining. Oh, that's only one person, though. But this thing sucks. Uh, that hits all three. Okay, we'll do this. A really furious hawk dance. Oh, that was It nice. stopped before it got to him. He must uh -huh. have dodged. Uh, I was really hoping to get away with... Uh, like when Foma from uh, Seventh Saga dodges, it makes a little field appear because it doesn't have a dodge animation. That's what I... That's that's the main boss that everyone thinks about in RPGs. Oh, this is going yeah, so good! It, it, I really do think, like, all tactics are moot. It's just have a full power meter. Get a full power meter, yeah. Oh, yeah, and hit the right person, too, so we can still use our super attack here. And like, oh, those items you were using to, to, to like, decrease defense? No, just have a full pile meter. Oh, that wasn't nearly as strong as the other one, but it seems to have taken out the boss. Yeah, the, the main guy's gone and not the underlings, I think. Oh, that's not good. Okay, Necro's mm -hmm. gonna have to heal everybody here. Rion's dizzy, that's no good. These little chumps are gonna... Mega herb. Mega, mega, mega herb. Bell water attacks. See, it's if they keep doing this attack against one person, we'll be okay, but when they hit everybody at once, it, it becomes yeah. a real issue. Okay, well, we it's that it. demon breath thing, which maybe it was only they can do that when the big guy's uh, active. Oh, I think maybe he is still slightly active. He's strong as targetable. Yeah, he had one hit point. He was tricking us and, the whole time! Yeah, and the other things don't even matter. Oh, there you go. Damn! I was not expecting this to go well because I came here, like, maybe one or two levels before this. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have full power meters because I didn't have the perfect other fight, and it was just Yours. shit. Yours. That went amazingly well. Yeah, like all tactics are nothing in this game. It's just have a power meter and you win. Don't have <laughs> one and you lose. And only on the second quest. So the first quest is just, it's not even have power meter win, it's just win. <laughs> so long as fear dwells in the hearts of men, I live. That Wherever monster. there's a cop, not wherever there's a cop beating up on a guy, I'll be there rooting for the cop. <laughs> wherever there's kids laughing because they're hungry and they know dinner's ready, I'll be frowning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the sound of men laughing and oh, you're so delighted. It's the shit ending after all. Can't you feel it? Ah, all right, nice going, guys. I'm being nice to you because I didn't kill anybody during the playthrough. Oh, there's an evil version of the playthrough. There is an evil version of the playthrough. <clears throat> we have to play it again. Check out the rainbow of <laughs> flavor. It's really over. Rainbow is my favorite version of Dio. <laughs> Looks like. But what the hell was that thing? Humanity's fear, despair, death. And the demon's resentment and hatred. All made flesh, and lots of flesh. <laughs> Just flesh, no bones. The legendary Dark Lord Ambrosia. That may indeed be what you faced. I don't know, I wasn't there. Did you taste it? I heard it's delicious. Master, where were you all fighting? 
Do you think so poorly of me that you don't think I worry? Was that not excellent training? Yeah, well, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. I don't so, Rion, what are you going to do now? I don't know, Mary Boma. All my life, I've only lived to Missy defeat Mizuki. Without that, I feel empty. None of that talk, Heart. Now's the time to have fun. Perhaps. Give some thought to finding someone to love. I'm no, my ancestors and I only bred to defeat Mizuki. Although, that doesn't make sense, because how did I get here? That's the only thing they were bred for. Don't let him get to you, Rion. Or else, uh, something. You've already lost. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. You've, earned, you've learned much, Oberu. I have been giving you a hard time this whole time just to train you. Still, I must extend my heartfelt congratulations. You've saved the world, quite literally. Now it's time for sexy parties. Now shall we head home, question mark? You know it! Oh man, I wanted to make a joke about where home was, but I can't remember the city that they told us where it was like four times. <laughs> uh, and technically, I guess going home with nicotine is like, we're just going to the little, the little house outside of... Now we have the Paladin's quest ending, where you talk to, like, you go through a village and you control, but you talk to everyone you met through the game. <laughs> Rion. Oh, never mind. I thought he, like, disappeared. Like, he never really existed. The ambition of Mizuki has come to naught. The warriors can sense it in their blades. With their bones. Although all were surprised to meet that evil shadow. Until the day comes that their spirits should be called upon. There's no double rainbow, though. That's the problem. It's not that great of a day. The rainbow will shine down on them evermore. <laughs> this rainbow is the new covenant between samurai spirits and their blades. Wow, man. I'm glad we caught uh, we call a video there. Cause, uh... <laughs> Listen, you. I was not expecting to win that on the first try. <laughs> yeah, that Everything went that. so perfect. Off screen, oh, I, I this it... is not what it was like at all. I thought it might be like a really long ending, but it's not over yet. Also, it's not over yet. Ancestors, thank you for raising me to know nothing but killing. He put the bell back. Bring the bell back. And that's the secret. Now the bad guys are going to get back into the world through that bell. Just wait till you find out what happens when we break this bell. It's way worse than the animus bells. Oh, it said something there, but apparently it was a load screen, so we don't get to read it. <laughs> It said, congratulations. Now on to the next match. It said, play it again on the higher difficulty. So, what would you think of this game? Uh, well, I mean, I don't feel like we fully experienced it. Apparently, there's uh, endings <laughs> that we, we have to go through and play as all the characters and see what they say while there's a rainbow. Well, I'll tell you um, this. There is a FAQ guide that uh, goes into... I haven't read them all, but it goes into detail what they all say. I just scrolled to see if it had endings in it to make sure we weren't missing any major ones. Hmm. Um, and there is a difference between uh, good and bad endings, like if you're good or if you're evil. Mm -hmm. From what I saw in the FAQ, they're very minimal, and it's just you having more kind of jerkish dialogue when you're done. Yeah, like when you said something... Oh, what is this music? Have like, um... Vocalization in the theme music, yeah, that's nice. Up a bit for the folks at home, I think. Yeah. Down producer Connie really doing a good job here. Producing sounds. The SNK New World Sound Players. So I'm going to say, we've said this several times in the Let's Play. Very nice. It's very nice credits. Yeah, no, I, I, I you asked me what I thought, and I, I was going to throw some real thoughts out there, but I'll, I'll wait here and let you say what you're going to say. Well, I find that the second scenario was a lot more interesting and well put together than the first one. Mm. Yes. It felt like the first one... Like, it didn't matter who your companions were for the most part. They never talked. And this one, they didn't talk very much, but they did have stuff to say sometimes. And they really gave Rion a lot of dialogue. Now, you had to have Rion, but... I guess they really could have given more dialogue to the other people, too. They just needed to uh, make Dude, it generic the, enough that it didn't look matter. Look at what the said. art is like. Like, suddenly we have this, like, cool art going on that was not part of the main game at all. I mean, there's been good art in the game. But like this but, kind of yeah, we didn't have any animated, animated scenes or anything. They saved them all for this. Yeah, like when we went and saw the uh, 
the uh, Kabuki theater and stuff. It should have been. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, okay, if, if you had, even if there was two or three hours of gameplay between them, like a little little scenes like that, because the Neo Geo CD certainly had the muscle to do this. Um, yeah, little scenes like that made such a big difference. Like, you remember as a kid how much like you thought the story of Ninja Gaiden was epic, and you go back and play it years later, and you're like, all these cinematics are like a minute and a half long and are not really that impressive. But like, it felt like it really made for an epic story. Oh, this thing game could have used some of this during the main game. I, I completely agree. With you. Wow. Anyway, no. So I'll say, like, I was uh, I was so excited by this series. Uh, Samurai Showdown series when when this game first came out, although it wasn't available in the States yet. I think I would have enjoyed this game regardless. But I think objectively it is not a very good RPG. <laughs> um, I think you're right that the second quest is more interesting than the first. It gives you a little... Well, maybe it was illusory. It kind of feels like there's some freedom of sequence in which you do certain things. I think you're overstating the difference, in my opinion. Uh, in how much dialogue your companion characters have from Quest 1 to Quest 2. I think there's practically none. It's just that Quest 2 has a mandatory companion, which made it easier to write something of a story. I guess uh, so. I feel like uh, Nakaruru talked five times more than uh, our two companions combined in the first game because they talked when we crashed on a beach once and at the end of the game. Yeah, okay. But, but the five times two is ten. And uh, you're right. It was probably more like three, three and a half. But but what I mean is that like yeah. So so it's still not a lot. But it was instead a lot of talking more. twice. She talked six times. But like, but like Ninja Sidekick Guy talked 150 times, and Hoamaru talked probably a hundred times. Like Ninja Sidekick Guy, they wrote the story around because he was mandatory. Yeah. Um, which is like fine. But normally I'm I'm okay with JRPGs where you don't get that much flexibility because. Like, I don't like when they give you the mute, the mute protagonist to make it feel like, it's me, I'm in the game, and then that means there's no story or character. This is cool, too. Like, why the hell didn't they do anything like this during the game? Yeah, I know what the thumbnail's gonna be. It's gonna be uh, Cham Cham kicking her leg up. <laughs> hey, everyone, look at the bird. No, no, I meant the camera wow, bird. No, not the actual easy. bird. The picture's ruined. But uh, yeah, even get Genjiro, they're being nice and stuff. But yeah, like I was so I, I liked the the property so much. I think I still would have had fun with it. But the combat didn't seem watching you play, not playing myself. Combat didn't seem very interesting. Uh, it seemed too easy and boring in the first quest. In the second quest, it seems like it just got insanely hard, and you were totally reliant on game breaking pows to do it. Yeah, I don't think it's very balanced combat. It's not... Um... Yeah, it's just not a particularly well-made RPG. It's an RPG made by a company that didn't make RPGs. Um, with some kind of fun character designs, because they were borrowed from a series uh, that was about 2D fighters, where they had designed some pretty neat-looking characters. Yeah. Well, and all the unique boss sprites that they made were pretty awesome. Yeah, the, the best part was always the visuals of... Uh, of the characters. The weakest part would be the actual combat mechanics. And well, I don't know. I mean, they were they were taking, particularly with Mizuki, they were taking the story for a 2D fighting game and stretching it to RPG like it was uh, it's a bit rough. It was kind of, so the characters that it was weird. Like it, I felt like uh, Homer didn't come off particularly interesting and Probably Ukyo or Genjiro or whoever. I, I am legitimately interested in what would the game be like if you played as Genjiro since he doesn't get sidekicks. But I guess it wouldn't change the story at all because the sidekicks never talk anyway. It would make the combat more irritating. It might, might actually make the, contact, uh, the combat easier because it's always your main person's turn. So, like, That's true too. I don't know if he levels up faster, but also if he has a real sick hit everything attack you just always get to use it you're not like oh no like Rion went first and he really sucks for some reason at lower levels I think you're right and and, and I don't know I'll talk to you offline about how uh, where I would go to get the the translated game because like I 
bleh, I wouldn't make you sit through it, but I would almost want to do a playthrough again, even recording, because I have fun doing the Genjiro voice. Um, but he did, never gets to show up. But no, you're right, it wouldn't be that bad, because uh, I was even saying it myself, but not thinking about it in terms of Genjiro. Like, the, the boss, if you have three characters, the boss just gets turns after every character you have turned, so it wouldn't change the gameplay that much. No. But, um, but I did discover during my off-screening to grind up something that we probably should have been paying attention to before, and it doesn't matter as much for a boss fight, hmm. but if you kill the person whose turn it's going to be next, they do not uh, get a turn. Like, oh, okay. not just them, but it doesn't go to a different character. So you can actually... Uh, chain together a few attacks if you manage to pull that off properly so there were some annoying battles in the um the last dungeon where i couldn't kill everybody with one hit everybody move but if i focused on one person and once i learned the pattern that they were going to go in because their speeds are set right yeah i could yeah. attack them in the right order and i'd get like two or three turns in a row uh before one of them got to attack and then i'd be like sweet now i didn't have to worry about going to heal every like five seconds because nicotine could only do one more thing for us and it was heal us about 70 times <laughs> Yeah, so so again, like it's hard to see it objectively because although I mean I gave up a long time ago on playing this game, and by the time I realized it was available, it was like, oh wow, that's such a fun thing because I was so excited about it at one point. Um, I think I yeah I, I I think I can I can say pretty definitively. Okay, well now we know why SNK doesn't make RPGs. <laughs> um, it's not terrible, but it's kind of like it's just cookie cutter JRPG, and the the combat seemed really grindy it felt like you couldn't take three steps without a random encounter which is like the hallmark of a bad rpg from this era it was just like we're going to make the game really long by making lots of generic enemies that you have to constantly fight um the story it it felt like there's a lot of little things that could have been like having they could have done it bleh, i'm talking in circles here Homer didn't really feel like that engaging a character, but like he probably had pretty generic dialogue where there was a version of the same thing. Ukiyo would say the same thing. Cham Cham and Genjuro uh, may have been amusing to play as just because they would they would be oddly written to get them through these generic scenarios. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they could have done the old uh, Chrono Cross thing of. Yeah, have sidekick dialogue. There's only so many sidekicks you could have. You could have, like, character, like, sidekick one says this piece of expository dialogue, and sidekick two says this, and there's only about six sidekicks that you can have. So you can have the, the Charlotte version of saying, I guess this means we need to set sail for Kyoto, but yeah. there's also a Charlotte version of saying, I agree with you, second character, <laughs> so that you would get slightly different dialogue if Charlotte was your first sidekick and Kyoshiro was your third. And if you reverse a block, there's so many little things they could have done that they just couldn't be bothered to do just to make it feel more like you had characters in a story and yeah. not people following you around. I don't know. Well, and, and I think especially to a modern sensibility, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't hold up. But I feel yeah. like if I had gotten this back when it came out, if somehow a translation came through and somehow I afforded Neo Geo hardware, um, I feel that that was the period of time where I was in my uh, gluttonous RPG stage, I guess, where you'd be like, oh, it doesn't have to be delicious. It just has to be filling. Right? Yeah, you, like, were, you were a gourmand, not a gourmet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it would just be like, oh, yeah, this was sweet. This was sweet. Um, especially if you could rent it for like a couple weekends, right? Like, yeah. And get through it. Well, I would say, um, I don't want to believe. I, 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 I always have a hard time saying goodbye to a series we've been playing for a while. And like, I don't know how much talking in circles we need to do before it's okay to let it go. But. Uh, because we are not doing another playthrough of this, I don't think. I don't think so. But um, <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to remember exactly what was going on when it came out. Because if you're comparing it to like SNES RPGs, like I think it's pretty. Like SNES to me was the era of lots of JRPGs reached the Western shores, 
and enough of them are reaching western shores that some of them aren't that amazing and then you find out years later through emulation oh these were the best of the best there was some real <laughs> shit burger <laughs> JRPG. But um, this was not competing with those. This is competing with Final Fantasy VII. And while I don't have the connection, like I didn't play Final Fantasy VII when it first came out and got wowed by it, and I'm willing to buy 800 spin-off games of Final Fantasy VII, I don't have this like rose-colored view of Final Fantasy VII. It's a way fucking better story, <laughs> which does a lot more with having different party members seem like individuals who are interesting. That this does, and and maybe my but my dates are wrong, but this is falling somewhere between like Final Fantasy six VI and seven. It obviously doesn't compare to Final Fantasy six, okay? <laughs> which even I'm going to call when I'm not even going to do my Final Fantasy three, which we're supposed to call six now. Gag, like no, this is you're comparing them to SquareSoft, which is the best of the best, but. They, you, you do come back to this was kind of a fun little thing they could have done those cool visuals from the credits more i guess the gimmick of you do their supers uh using arcade inputs and that improves the combat like maybe that could have been interesting but it really just feels like as much as i love the property as much fun as it was to spend a little time with them i think this reinforced yeah let's square soft be square soft <laughs> well and you and snk too, continue to be rip off capcom <laughs> yeah I, I well and then just part of capcom <laughs> yeah. um the thing is too is that um i found it very hard to pull off the fighting controls in um in the game Right, like, mm -hmm. but I've played a ton of fighting games with just a gamepad. Like, I'm not bad at doing them, so I don't know if it just had very tight inputs, or it maybe was something to do with the emulation, putting a little extra leg on it, making it so that they didn't chain together properly or something. But like, half circles and a punch aren't that hard to do, right? Like, I should have been getting them off every once in a while instead of never being able to get them. And like I just so well, as Kyoshiro would say, ten batsunari, which is Japanese for "this is heaven's punishment for your crime of telling me, oh, there's nothing wrong with the PlayStation Collection emulation of Mega Man 8. <laughs> Stop <laughs> your whining. You just suck. The game is perfectly good. Uh, you may be right about that. Or it may just be that the Neo Geo CD is not the system on which to play a, a fighting game. Like, or it could know. be like, it's fine in a fighting game, but because of all the RPG stuff they have going on in the background, which it doesn't seem like it would be that much, but... Um, well, I don't know if it's... Maybe, just, maybe they had their B team like in charge of making the inputs for this one instead of just taking the, coal, the code I'm, whole I'm, hog from I'm something. I'm thinking so. But, but uh, either way, uh, like as we wind down, like I've been on this weird offline, like I haven't... I tried to record something. It didn't go well. I don't know if I'm going to try again. I've been on a King of the Fighters kick just randomly. Like, I've been getting into SNK fighting games as, like, a legacy thing. Uh, so, although Samurai Showdown RPG, I enjoyed it. I'm glad we played it. Don't know that you ever need to play it again. But I want you to keep an eye out. If there's any kind of fan translation of, like, uh, Fatal Fury RPG <laughs> or uh, Art of Fighting RPG... Or uh, even if we go to Capcom, if there's like a Streets of Rage RPG, I think we should give them a shot. Yeah. Um, and I, I, as we wrap up here, I want to say uh, thanks to Jeff Nussbaum for doing the uh, the translation work on this. There were yeah, some other people here, on the here. team too. Their names will come up on screen here uh, as the credits roll by. Right there. Boom. Um, yeah. Thank you, guys. They did a great job. Jeff was also in the comments giving us some hot tips about the mechanics of the game and some of the story stuff a little bit too. Uh, and that was really helpful. But also, if you're still watching, Jeff, and I hope you are, uh, to the end of this video. So the, the translation website I normally use for all translation news has, it's still got a new section, but like, it's done. Like they haven't, they're not hosting any new files or anything since August uh, 1st or something like that, right? So if there's another site I should know about where it's the best place to go to get all the translation news like yeah the to last, see what's the coming last out if to give us it's not about this game tell us where to find the hot translation we need to know where the hot translations are yeah. um, because that's the Gap only reason why Gap I found this is because I used to go to that site two yeah. three times a month and just check out what the new translations were and I, I don't know where to go now Jap Zone is gone we can no longer find comvids uh, it was the home of the RPG insane and it's gone 
So before I lose, uh, before I lose uh, our uh, his attention, though, I I do want to apologize for mentioning Howard and Nestor because apparently that was a faux pas. <laughs> <laughs> and we also want to thank you. I, I I do not want to know. Please don't tell me your political affiliations. But I'm glad that I wasn't able to tell by you know characters suddenly talking about Obamacare <laughs> in dialogue <laughs> that was never about Obamacare because we can't we ran into that in uh, Super Show Monster Story and I guess it was funny. I don't need to see that again. <laughs> All right, folks. Um... That wraps it up for this. Uh, at some point in the near future, we'll have a new series uh, going on. Um, but we're not sure what that is yet. We haven't talked about it too much yet. Uh, I think the ending of this game creeped up. It shouldn't have, but it creeped up on us a little bit. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, oh, I hope that's you enjoyed another the last little comment, and, and I guess it fits. Boy, both both quests seems like they had the real big anti-climax. I, I don't know exactly what the pacing issue was, but we beat Amakusa, and I was like, wait, it's over? But I think we kind of did the same thing here. <laughs> Even though we fought like a five-part hell demon, somehow at the end it was like, huh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, at least at least we know we didn't kill the hell demon. As long as people have hatred in their souls, uh, he'll be lurking. <laughs> you know, it's not. We don't even have our own soul. We all have a little piece of one one soul, and that monster will be there nibbling on it for all eternity. <laughs> See you next time, folks. Sayonara. <laughs>